All right, welcome back to Roundtown Restoration, everybody. My name is Chris Fisher. It's my 1964 TR4. As you can see, there's no more engine in it. Let's see how we did that. Definitely not my proudest moment. Thanks for watching. All right, so what I got here is a Nadaj. I don't know, it's from China, of course, but it's a, uh, a borescope. A little, uh, little in there, you can see the light. So I'm going to use it to look inside the motor. The uh, spark plug hole, I'll go in one of those, the distributor and the, and the fuel pump holes, and then the exhaust and intake manifolds. Connects to your cell phone, and it's uh, via Wi-Fi, and you can record and everything. It says high res, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be all that high res. But we'll do a quick inspection here and see what's going on inside the motor. All right, so first we'll look at is the number four spark plug hole. All right, so you can see the cylinder wall there. And there's actually some crosshatch. So that's cool. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Just barely see the top of the cylinder or the piston there. You can see those that look like pits, but I think they're carbon deposits, not a pit. I think it's a, it's a, uh, a deposit. See the, the line where the piston at top dead center there. So I can't obviously feel if there's a ridge or anything in there, but some corrosion, but it doesn't look horrible. That's for sure. Good crosshatch. Still looks like crosshatch everywhere. All right, so that's reassuring. Go down into the distributor hole here, down into where the oil pump cavity goes and the shaft for the oil pump. Yeah, that's not incredibly exciting. But that doesn't look too bad. And then into the motor itself here. Let's see what we can see. So that looks like a connecting rod. Yeah, that's a connecting rod. Crankshaft. All right. Yeah. Gear for the distributor right there on the camshaft. See one of the camshaft lobes. All right, well, that looks cool. Into the fuel pump hole. You can see the one of the connecting rods way down in there. Connecting rod right there. Can't quite get up into the cylinder. You can see the connecting rod in the back of the motor here. All right. All right, we'll come around the other side and look inside uh, in the head through the exhaust and intake manifolds. All right, so now we'll look inside the uh, manifolds here. We'll go with the, what, number one exhaust. All right, and there's the valve. You can see it's a little bit shiny. A little bit shiny on top, so the valve is probably open here. And look down. Yep, so the valve is open. You can see it off the seat there. So that's exhaust, doesn't look, you know, it looks exhausty. I guess it doesn't look horrible. All right, number one intake. All right, so there's the valve guide right there. You can see that kind of sticking down in the intake port a little bit. The top of that valve is nice and crusty looking. That one looks like it's shut, which I guess makes sense. If the exhaust valve is open, the intake would be shut. All right, so that's number one. Number two intake, It'll open just a little bit. You can see just that little bit of gap there. That valve doesn't look too bad. It looks better than the previous one. Number two exhaust. Oh, we got some. What do we got there? Oh, there it is. All sorts of spider webs or something going on. Ooh. All right, so that's a little rusty. That's probably not cool. All right, number three exhaust. Again, some uh, some deposits going on in there. Not horrible. Number three intake. All right, that looks in pretty good shape. Number four intake. Just barely opening up there. And then finally, number four exhaust. All right, you can see a lot of the red chips in there. And I think these are either cobwebs in here or the fabric that the, the, the previous guy put in to just do uh, keep stuff out of the motor. All right, so that's not horrible. All right, so I was able to acquire a front motor mount there from, from a gentleman on my favorite forum. 
So that's the front one to be able to get the motor out. I still don't have a rear one, however, but I'm not sure. Try to figure something out here if I can get the get something, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to be able to use here. We'll, uh, we'll see what I can figure out. All right, so I got the motor under tension here. The, uh, the rear hook I put into the starter hole, the front hooks on the motor mount as, as described. A little, uh, coming out a little crooked, so I'll, I'll just play with that, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Not, not my, uh, not my finest of moments here for, for safety and all that stuff, but we'll see what happens. Well, that was it. Push it down, maybe. The other thing I always want to do is look up, right? Alright, so what I'm going to ask you to do is try to lift up on the transmission. Just watch your fingers. Watch your So don't get your toes with the wheels of the thing. All right. Good. Since the motor is going to be sitting a little while here, we're just putting that fluid film in all the cylinders and in the uh, manifold entries. I'll rotate the motor here for a little bit. We'll shoot it all again just to do some basic protection and then uh, put paper towels in all the orifices so that nothing gets in there. All right, so obviously the motor's out. Unfortunately, the, uh, the only damage I think was the, the throttle bar there, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, I'll be able to bend that back in, but I just wasn't really paying too much attention to the back of the motor. Came out just fine, so we got all that stuff sprayed in there, rotated it a few times. So it'll sit there for a while, yet I'm going to get this, uh, this rust here that's, that I'm worried about. That's the other concern that I had is this motor, I'm going to be doing it a better way next time, that's for sure, because I jacked this all up in here. But it is what it is, so I'll get this, uh, the throttle bar out here and see if, if I can do any repairs or bend it straight. All right, everybody, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, watching. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Well, like I said, not my proudest moment, but I did have some help over here today, so that was nice. And uh, the motor's out. So now we'll start tackling in all the body repairs and see how we're going to approach all that stuff. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers.